Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here, and this is a follow-up video to the how to apply uh, thermal paste video that I posted not too long ago. And uh, basically, I um, did this to uh, show how to apply uh, the Arctic Silver 5 compound that uh, I purchased. And, well, in this video, I uh, applied a small dot, and then I spread it around. And so, um, by doing that, I did not achieve the desired results that I was looking for in terms of uh, cooling uh, the CPU. And I know I got a lot of flack from people saying that uh, I should have just left it with uh, applying the small dot, uh, which is what you see here. Uh, about that amount um, is good enough. And uh, so I just wanted to bring up a couple of things first about uh, Arctic Silver is that uh, they have their own website um, and uh, instructions really great instructions too so I'm just gonna go through to see what what it is that they say and uh, when you pick the Arctic Silver 5 you get to pick what CPU you have and then um, pick what type of CPU you have and I have the second generation Intel Core i7 and they are recommending that I do a vertical line right down here see that right there that a vertical line about that thickness of that orange line there is supposed to be good enough and uh, I didn't either I just did a dot and then I spread it around thinking that it was going to be good enough but here's another thing that uh, they have a break-in period and they're saying that there is about, for the Arctic Silver 5, about 200 hours. Um, temps will drop several degrees over the break-in period. And uh, let me show you with my method in that video that I used, my overclocked CPU. Um, oops. My overclocked 4.5 gigahertz CPU got up to 90 degrees, which is ridiculously hot. It's That's fail right there in terms of uh, thermal uh, grease applications and um, performance fail absolute fail right um, 4.5 gigahertz 90 degrees which is not really good and this is like right after I applied the thermal grease and I did not allow time to break in and so uh, because uh, I was impatient and uh, I went straight to overclocking I that's why I did not uh, achieve desired results and so if you're using Arctic Silver 5 do let the break-in time happen only use the dot method or what they suggest here the uh, line method uh, which is great <clears throat> so um, since then I've removed that uh, thermal grease uh, that thermal paste the Arctic Silver 5 and I applied this other uh, type of uh, thermal compound which is called uh, Biostar Nano Diamond and I picked this up from Fry's although they have um, they have it here on Amazon Prime for nine bucks um, and this stuff isn't doesn't have any metallic compounds to it the other stuff uh, Arctic Silver I'm assuming they have silver in it but um, this right here has no um, uh, metallic compounds in it it's all like organic or sil silicon Based, but also it contains diamond particles, uh, very little, obviously not a whole lot, but it's supposed to be a uh, transfers heat very, very well and efficiently. But the great thing about it is that there's no curing, like with the Arctic Silver or break-in period. It just it works instantly. It's a lot thinner and it um, spreads a lot easier. Although um, I'm gonna try. To also just apply it with uh, the dot method and then also with the line method but uh, I applied this the exact same way as you saw in my video right here by um, spreading it around like so right I did that with the uh, Biostar nano diamond compound and I got very good results um, let me show you nano diamond thermal compound and this is overclocked to four point uh, 5 gigahertz right and I'm running the prime 95 hundred percent load right here and uh, my minimum was 31 that was like starting out and then my maximum here was about 82 degrees and this is running for like a few hours 
and uh, this did a, did a really good job. Uh, I really like this stuff, and so um, this is going to be my choice of a thermal compound, um, and that's going to be the the diamond compound uh, because it works instantly, which I really like. All right? Um, some other compounds to consider. Uh, another YouTuber um, was telling me about some other type of compound. I think it was the uh, IC diamond. Let me see here. Where is it? Yeah, ICD7. Um, apparently this is a very thick compound and uh, you should only need to put a dot and that's what that person used and uh, it worked really well. So uh, this uh, is uh, looks to be pretty legit. I do want to try this out uh, later on. And then Antec makes their own Antec uh, Nano Diamond Thermal Compound Formula 7. I'm assuming the 7 means that there's seven carats yeah I'm guessing that's what it means the amount of diamond that's that's in the uh, compound and uh, if you're into the whole uh, you know name brand I guess Antec is sort of a name brand um, product so you can uh, definitely try that out and it looks like they uh, also want you to just apply with uh, the dot method and uh, I have another AMD system um, where I applied the uh, the uh, just a single dot of the uh, Arctic Silver 5 compound on the AMD, and um, <clears throat> no overclocking or anything like that. And I'm going to let that run to its uh, 200 hour break-in point, and then overclock it, and then test the uh, the 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 temperatures on that. But uh, yeah, I really like the uh, Diamond Thermal compound. Um, even this uh, somewhat cheap stuff, um, although I think they were around for a long time, the Biostar Nano Diamond compound. Um, I got uh, really good results out of this, and uh, if you decide to go with it, let me know what, um, what the temperature results and uh, what CPU and how much overclock that you're using for it, um, or if you're also using these other two. Right? Um, I might make one more video. Um, just to apply the uh, thermal compound. I didn't really want to make a whole nother video of uh, applying this dot since you kind of can already see it here. Um, that little dot. <clears throat> That's about how much you, you should be using and uh, let it sit for a while if you're using the uh, Arctic Silver 5. But uh, yeah, so my next test is going to be the dot method with um, the nano diamond compound. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Johnny the Geek out. Peace.